Tell me, fellas, have you seen her? It was about five minutes ago when I seen the hottest chick that a youngin never seen before. Very similar. All right. So now we're going to talk about um, positioning of your out styles. If you know that you want a side part, make sure that you part your hair where you want your part to be, and then you can maneuver your bands or knots or twists or braids or whatever it is um, around that part so that you make sure that you get your part. If you know you want bangs, you need to make sure that you do your twists or braids or bands or knots or whatever it is that you're doing um, in the area that you need you want your bangs. If you're doing bands or knots, it's really it's not a lot easier because if you guys saw um, – I, to get my bangs, I actually uh, made sure that I had a, this chunk was in a bantu knot. This chunk needed to be in a bantu knot so that that could become a bang. With twist outs now, if you're doing like the twist row out, which I showed you guys how to do. I haven't shown you any other ways to do a twist out, which I will do videos on those. Then you need to make sure that you have your twists going down the side. You need to braid your twists down the side or, your, or braid your braids down the side, whatever you're doing, to make sure that you can have a bang. Because if you just do them straight back, your hair is going to go straight back. So you want to do your twist or band knots in the direction that you want your hair to be styled. So that's why positioning is only important. It's only important because it'll give you, it'll make the hair fall where you want it to fall. Um, if you're just going to do like a, like if you're just going to twist the back up or the sides up, it doesn't really matter where you put them. If it's something very specific like a bang or a certain part, then you really want to focus on positioning. If it's, if you're not doing anything important where, um, hair falling in certain places doesn't really matter as much. You don't have to worry about positioning. Let's see if I have anything else to tell you guys. I talked, we talked about, um, we talked about conditioning for hair. We talked about the tightness. We also talked about, um, how many you're doing. Um, hmm. We talked about sectioning, which kind of falls into how many you're doing. Um, I think that's it, you guys. Yes, that's it. All right, so that's pretty much how you kind of, gauge your um out styles or the preparation so you can achieve a certain curl pattern or a certain wave pattern um how do you know how many to do that's all trial and error let's just say one night you did five and you got my curl pattern if that's what you want now you know you need to do five it's up to you now to decide how tight you want to wrap them around so you can get more definition or less definition uh, so to speak, or for band knots. Um, if you know you want, once you've got that down pack, and you know, okay, if I do five, I get this kind of curl pattern. Now you can kind of gauge from there. All right, so I want a tighter curl tomorrow. You have two options. You can either do more band two knots so that you can get a tighter curl. It'll be a little bulkier also. Or you can continue with the same sectioning and just do them really, really tight. You keep the five and do them tight, and they'll give you more definition. If you know you want tighter curls and not so much looser curls, then do more. Do more bantu knots as opposed to five. Double them. Or you can do just a couple more. You know, you kind of gauge it from there to see what you need more or less. Same thing applies to twist outs and braid outs. Um, the method, actually that's another thing we need to talk about, method. Certain methods give you completely different results because, as you can see, this is the same principle, the same idea as the other um, twist out that I have a video on or how to how to do. Um, same idea in terms of the twist row or some people call them two strand flat twists. Same idea but different method. That one was smaller sections um, which resulted in more of the flat twists out or whatever case, whatever you call them. Twist, twist, and twist. Up. I call them twist rows, so we're calling them twist rows. I did more of the twist rows, and so that gave me a much smaller, um, sleeker, kind of more flatter hair. Do I actually have a video on that? And I even styled it a little for you guys, so just take that out. This I did slightly different. I did four big ones, four big ones are the are the twist rows, and then like three small ones on the side here. Um, and this gave me bigger, bulkier hair. Another version of a twist out, other than the twist rows, if you can't do those, is to um, just two-strand twist your hair. A two-strand twist is pretty much getting a section of hair and then wrap the hair around each other like that. Really easy. 
However, when doing those, understand that only the ends will be um, wavy. The roots will not be wavy because if you want the roots to be wavy, you have to do your twist row because that'll be able to get all the hair or as close to the scalp as it can um, to give you a wave. Otherwise, if you just do the twist and twist, understand that your ends the only thing that's going to be um, wavy and your roots, wherever the twist was not on or the twist was not touching or affected by, whatever the case may be, I don't even know what the word is. <laughs> Whatever you did not twist, whatever hair you did not twist, which pretty much is your roots, won't it'll be straight or whatever texture it was before. Um, let's see. You can, however, if you can't do the twist rows, and you can only do two strand twists. If you do smaller sections, um, more root will get twisted, but that means at this point you need to do like really small sections which can be more irritating. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I want to do a few more videos on different out styles so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to do some more braid outs. I want to do a few more versions of twist outs so you guys can see the different options you have for achieving whatever looks that you're looking for. So, like I said, method does play a part in the kind of definition you're getting and how much of the hair is going to get the definition all sorts of things like that. So just kind of play around with your hair, you guys. Um, that's about it. All right, I'm going to stop rambling on now. <laughs> Bye.